Good morning from the bus. We figured since it's raining, we should go to the beach. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. My grandmother's <laughs> side of the family is having a family reunion, specifically an oyster roast. So I told good old Grammy we'd go with her. Yeah. We're gonna bring you for the ride. Check out my new sweater. Oh yeah. God, yeah. Do you think we match today? <laughs> what was in the plan? I got dressed first and then Justin dressed her in this. She wasn't supposed to wear this, but now she's wearing this. <laughs> she loves it! So we had loaded up everyone into the car and we were already on the road and I checked the diaper bag and we only had three diapers for the day and who knows when we'll be home. So we had to drive all the way back to get diapers. Did you get the mother load? <laughs> yeah! Thank you! Welcome. Hit the road again! <laughs> Again. Again. Okay, I'm finishing my celery juice and we start to get me breakfast because I always eat breakfast. So we're here at Rise and I'm going to go and get my biscuit. Meanwhile, what are you going to do, Pip? Coffee. Actually, I don't get it every time. I switched up the biscuit. I got a sweet potato biscuit. But it's a fried green tomato with an egg and pimento cheese. It's really yummy. <laughs> Small disclaimer, just so you all know, I don't always eat very indulgent biscuits like that for breakfast. That is a really special treat. And it's really yummy. And <laughs> you could if you would. I could, would if I... if you could. <laughs> I could if I would. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't even think I would eat that every day. It wouldn't be special anymore if I ate a biscuit like that every day. After we spend money on our debit card, we were doing a Dave Ramsey thing where we <laughs> had envelopes and then we had mason jars with our budget. What we mean by envelopes, if you don't already know, is we keep all these different envelopes. Each one had a different category, like food or play or gas and we would keep a certain amount of money in there at the beginning of every paycheck and we would pull from that envelope every time we needed to spend money and that would be a way for us to keep up with our budget. I should have put the microphone on. Yeah, should have. Sorry, I forgot to put the microphone on. So we don't do the drawers or the envelopes anymore because we wanted to minimize the amount of stuff that we had. So I now keep a note on my phone and we just keep track of where we're at with the budget so that we can be on top of our spending and have money for the road since we're trying to save and have money for the rest of the bus conversion. We got the whole crew in the back. Say hey grandma. Hello, we're going to the Lancaster <laughs> Cousins Oyster Roast. Driving the minivan looking fly, heading down the road towards the beach. We're gonna make it just in time, I think. The way you're having a whole time, man. I swear I got this. Yeah, I'm trying. Get started. If you can't do it, you can't get in here. Uh, put it back here. Go in the back. You made it look so easy. So you gotta go. You gotta go and find a place to pop it. And then you just scrape it and then eat it. Always gonna have this attack. How is it? Delicious. Good. Tell us where we are, babe. So, I actually don't know where we are. <laughs> Me neither. We're at the family reunion. Shucking oysters and eating corn fritters. Mm. All right, Grandma. I see you. Show us how to do it. This man over here is my instructor. Yeah? You're the apprentice, the master, and the apprentice. Shucking oysters. Show us how a pro does it. There you go. Pretty good. Yummy, yummy. It's all about the fire, isn't it? Alright, let's do this. 
Look her good, man. So funny. Cuckoo. Grandma's on her phone. Grandma, get off your cell phone. <laughs> Grandma, you can't be on your phone in the picture. Good morning. This is her new toy. She loves it. Yeah, babe, what's today? Sunday. So it's a good day. <laughs> Looks like it's a great day, babe. We don't want coffee. So anyway, we're doing touch-ups on the inside of the bus. Is this what you look like when you don't have coffee? <laughs> <laughs> so we may have fooled some of you guys in thinking that our bus was completely finished. I don't know that that day will even ever come. It's definitely not finished. We just wanted to get an intro video done and wanted to get a bus tour done of how the bus was as is. A lot of you had asked to see it. So we're gonna do touch-ups like Justin said. We're gonna work on finishing things up so that we can get this thing on the road. Um, we potentially have set ourselves a goal for April 20th, 420? What is happening right now? <laughs> Stop it. 420, um, there's like a little private baby festival that our friends have invited us to and we would love to have the bus ready to be able to bring it with us and do like a trial run for three days away from home, off grid, with the solar running, with the bus running, all that kind of stuff. So we have kind of like a deadline now and we're really trying to work towards that to have everything ready with insurance and all that good stuff. We're gonna work on getting this bus road ready. Let me just show you what needs to get done. We are gonna put a piece of wood running across there. This needs security, so we're gonna put a piece of wood running across there. I wanna make like a little window box so that all this bedside table stuff can get shelved in and just have a secure place to always live. A shelf here so that all these plants can be secure and in their home. I think the bathroom is pretty much good. There's a shelf wood that blocks it here and all across down here. As far as the kitchen, we do have a lot to do. Everything that's on the counters and surfaces will go here in the sink. And when we're driving, we're gonna need to add another piece of wood with a running wheel set up so that this whole thing has a drawer system as well as down here on this shelf. This also we need to secure and block out the way. I think we're gonna add another piece of small wood here just to give it a little bit more extra height. These drawers are so heavy that they would slide open. I had them in my other bus. They never really came open when I was on the road. All this stuff won't be packed up so high, so like all these boxes will be all behind this. This is gonna have a little covering. On this front shelf, I've been brainstorming. I think we'll do like swinging hinge doors. So we have a lot to do and we're gonna start doing it today. Zalia, how do you feel about working today? Hey. Mama has to make some breakfast so that we can have breakfast together because she likes to have breakfast with me. So we're gonna go and do that now. Does that look level? Yep, level enough. <laughs> as level as our bus is. Who does she look more like? She has his eyebrows, I think. Yeah, starting to look legit in here. I like that piece of wood you chose to go in the middle. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. You didn't already know we really love Borat. <laughs> Don't we, babe? We basically installed this. All we did was add these little baby brackets. We used a tile cutter drill bit piece to cut through the tile so we didn't crack any of it. Added this little finish here on the edge. And what I've done for the back is cut another thin piece of wood. I staple gun this plastic bag. I'm gonna attach it back here and tuck it down under in there so that the wood doesn't rot or anything and all the soil stays within the plastic bag. And then I'm gonna drill holes so that there's some drainage that goes through for whenever we water it and it gets wet. But that way it's in like a plastic casing.
one of our friends here on the farm has almost finished her cabin that they've been building for basically all winter and she's finally moved in and is having a little housewarming and so we are gonna go check it out and give her a little gift as yes. a celebration just walking next door through the through the mud watch your step as we go la 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 All right, recap. Oh, okay. That's our cat. <laughs> That's his I was battle. trying to do a new position so we could refresh the, the poses, but, you know, anyway. Uh. We also have something super serious to tell you guys. We've decided that we need to change our channel name. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, we wanted to just not be the Vagabond Caravan anymore because we are realizing that with me selling my other bus, we're only really one bus and so we're not really gonna be caravanning anymore. We wanna be doing more than just bus videos for you guys. We wanna be doing other things and lifestyle videos, travel videos, so. so. Also too, if I may add, with it. the bigger picture, when we first started this out, um, it was no. actually, has already been changed because it was originally Moonflower Child, which was just my business name. And then it was now Us and More. And okay. now it's changing again. Can I finish now? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, so in the very beginning, <laughs> We um, we had created a channel name and different Instagrams and all this stuff because we had a general idea of what we wanted to do, which was to convert the school bus and go and travel for a long time. Now that that picture is a little bit more clear and we have a, a direction laid in front of us of what we're gonna do in the near future, we have decided to change our names to Justin and Juby. Just straight up, simple. And maybe we should include a Zoe too. <laughs> I thought about that, but then I'm like, that's just a really long channel name. <laughs> just <laughs> and Azalea. So we're so still working on how like to J -J include JJ and A. JJ and A. JJ and A. All right. So as you can see, we actually are still confused again. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so we, don't we, be alarmed. Yeah. We won't tell yeah. you right now yeah. what we're changing our channel name to. But when yeah. you watch this video, we will have already changed it to yeah. the name that yeah. we will <laughs> be in make agreement any sense on. <laughs> And we're changing and we're going to change Instagram. the names across the board and we're doing it to better reflect our channel and who we are <laughs> <laughs> which is directly our names that's who we are <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this video of yeah. our shenanigans. We look forward to uh, seeing you guys next time. Yes. You're gonna see a weird face. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs>